Good morning friends. Today's devotion is from Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse from verses 6. When we were at Mount Sinai, the Lord our God said to us, You have stayed at this mountain long enough. It is time to break camp and move on. Go to the hill country of the Amorites and to all the neighboring regions the Jordan Valley, the hill country, the western foothills, the Negev and the coastal plain. Go to the land of the Canaanites and to Lebanon and all the way to the great Euphrates River. I am giving all this land to you. Go in and occupy it. For it is the land the Lord swore to give to your ancestors Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and to all their descendants. So today I would like to... Uh, speak about our Heavenly Father who fulfills His promises in our life. He is a promise keeping God. So the God of Israel, uh, He spoke to the people of Israel through His servant Moses. Uh, he is asking them to leave Mount Sinai where they have stayed for a long time and to go to the land where He has promised to give them. And in verse 21 in the same chapter, we see that God asks the people of Israel to uh, do not be afraid, don't be discouraged. So in our lives, uh, if we want to see God as a promise keeping God, what do we need to do and what do we learn from the lives of the pe people of Israel? We are going to look at that for a few minutes. So when we look at the people of Israel, we uh, see that they had unbelief. They did not uh, believe what God had promised in their lives, but instead they believed the report of the ten spies who went to spy on the land of Canaan. Uh, and they did not believe the report of Joshua and Caleb. So uh, here we see uh, and what was the end result is they did not inherit the promised land but God as he is a promise keeping God he gave it to their descendants who uh, the to their children who were born when they were uh, going through the desert life so uh, here we see that uh, what do we need to do one thing is uh, whatever God tells us to do, we need to obey so that um, His promise will be fulfilled in our lives. And the second thing is, uh, look at Jesus, look at Him, uh, look at His word. What does He speak to us and not at the situation, not at the people around us. So uh, God uh, told them not to be afraid, not to be discouraged because um, uh, when they looked at the people living in the land which God was going to give them they felt fearful they had fear in them they felt discouraged but uh, that's why that was the reason why God told to them uh, don't be discouraged don't be afraid so today um, God is telling us uh, it may look like whatever we are going through it may look fearful it may look it may bring discouragement discouragement in us but uh, when we look at Jesus when we look at the God of Israel the great uh, I am God the Jehovah God who kept his promise in the uh, lives of the people of Israel that same God is with us today to fulfill what he has promised in our lives um, there are two things that we need to do one is total obedience to God and the second is not being afraid not being discouraged but to look at Jesus who has promised and to hold on and believe in his word in the promise that he has given us so he is the Almighty God um, he is able to do whatever he has promised in our lives so let us uh, surrender ourselves to obey God so that the promises he has given in our lives will be fulfilled let us pray dear Heavenly Father we are blessed to have a God who fulfills his promises in our lives help us to obey you and inherit the promises you have in our lives in Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Amen. Amen.